The light is not meant to be kept hidden, and the salt of the earth does not belong in the kitchen. Beauty is meant to delight and entice to work. Work will make us resurrected. Cyprian Camille Norvid, Promethidion. The year 1904 was particularly important for the community of Krakowian doctors. In this year, a building was erected at Ulitsa Radziwiłłowska 4, which became the headquarters of the Krakowian Medical Society. The house, situated in close vicinity to the university clinics at Ulitsa Kopernika, was meant to become a center of integration for all medical societies, a club for the professional community with a creative character following the English club model, a place for social meetings, scientific sessions, and a workplace with a library and a reading room. The president of the Krakowian Medical Society, Professor Julian Novak, a doctor, scholar, and art connoisseur, entrusted the design of the interior of the house of the Medical Society to his friend, Stanisław Wispiansky. The year 1904 was also very important in the creative activity and life of the artist. At that time he was working on three various interior design concepts, thanks to which he became a part of the circle of outstanding European designers of applied art. The house of the Krakowian Medical Society is a place where the artistic vision of space created by Wispiansky reached its most perfect form. Each of the rooms has its own individual decorative program. A sunny staircase leads to the meeting room where a Pompeian rose-red color is dominant. Equipped with furniture of simple functional shapes, Vispiansi expressed his opinion on the furniture in the following manner. When chairs are comfortable, people tend to fall asleep during meetings. The chairs are arranged in such a manner that a person taking a nap gently slides down onto the floor which is enabled by each chair's straight back, smooth leather seat and arch curved arm. The library and the reading room were situated next to the meeting room. In the National Museum in Krakow in the Szawajski House, where the monographic museum of Stanisław Wispiansky is located, Original projects of the artist related to the design of the interior of the House of the Krakowian Medical Society are shown. Among the most outstanding artistic achievements of Stanisław Wispiansky is the stained glass design for the main window of the House of the Krakowian Medical Society, a monumental Apollo. The design is made with pastel paint on paper. Wispiansky also treated the interior of the House of Krakowian Medical Society in the category of para-theatrical space and created a dramatic interior modelled upon ancient tragedy with the protagonist, i.e. the main actor, played by Apollo, presented in the central stained glass of the staircase, along with a choir. Realistically modelled in brass sheet, in large flowers of a horse chestnut tree hidden among leaves resemble the indispensable Greek choir and accompany Apollo stretching their heads rhythmically in search of the sun. Horse chestnut trees are a characteristic element of the Krakowian landscape. Vispiansky drew his artistic inspirations from the reality that surrounded him. 
Vispiansky attempted to create a coherent program of ideas in all art domains practiced by him, making reference to ties between man and nature, to the ancient roots of European culture, and to Christian and national tradition. Symbolic criteria were more important for Vispiansky than aesthetic premises. The aesthetics of space is subject to the symbolic criteria. Vispiansky also found inspiration in Krakowian monuments. The pillars of the staircase balustrade were forged after the fragments of columns of the Collegium Maius courtyard of the Jagiellonian University, where medicine was one of the oldest scientific disciplines. Decorative motifs recurring in the interiors of the Medical Society house were derived from nature. The models were provided by Krakowian motifs, horse chestnut trees and geraniums commonly known as Krakowiaki. The intensive yellow color of the walls symbolizes the reflection of the solar light radiating from Apollo. The rhythm of the horse chestnut choir from the balustrade was repeated in identical scale on the ceiling frieze encircling the staircase and deriving from the tradition of friezes in the royal chambers of the Vavil Castle. According to the Commissioner's wish, the artist subjugated all the elements of this interior to nature, which is the subject of natural sciences, represented by the users of the house. The central element of the composition is the monumental still figure of Apollo, the son of Zeus and Latona, god of the sun, light and divination, patron of poetry, music, art, sciences and medicine. Apollo, tied up and carrying a lyre on his back, is surrounded by moving, whirling celestial spheres and is presented as the sun god. The dialogue of antiquity with Christianity, known to the artists from the facades of medieval European cathedrals, demonstrating continuity of cultural tradition, found its reflection in the iconography of the stained glass windows by means of a reference to the Neoplatonic idea connecting Christian symbols with the tradition of the ancient vision of the cosmos. Above all, the solar motif of Apollo makes reference to the patron of the Krakowian Medical Society, Nicolaus Copernicus, a doctor and astronomer, and it is a tribute paid to the greatest achievement of Polish natural science, Copernicus's theory presented in the work On the Revolutions of Celestial Spheres. From the window of the house of the Medical Society, Apollo, resembling the crucified Jesus, speaks with the voice of Conrad from Vispiansky's drama Visvolenia, Liberation. Free, free, I announce myself free and nobody will be able to subjugate my spirit. God, Apollo, Christ are elucidated in my head. The furies are passing by. Do you know what it means that I am liberated? Academic research on the crucifixes and the stone crucifix by Witzvosch from St. Mary's Church in Krakow provide iconographic clues for recognizing a number of sources of inspiration for the figure of Apollo with the body of Christ the Redeemer.
With respect to Vispianski's work, Apollo with a Lyre appeared earlier in numerous sketches to Homer's Iliad. This motive was also close to Nicolaus Copernicus, who used a personal seal with an image of Apollo playing the lyre. The mystic nature of the stained glass with window panes reflecting colourful, filtered sunlight brings to mind the figure of Prometheus, the giver of fire. Conrad says to the mask, To take this holy fire and to give it to those who are waiting for the fire. They are not waiting for anybody, but they are waiting for the fire, for the heat that awakens, that gives power and force. Vispiansky despotically separated female figures from male ones in the planet system surrounding the Sun, Apollo. Saturn, Zeus, Mars, Mercury, the active male element was located on Apollo's right-hand side. Apollo's feet are touching the Earth. Venus and Luna, the passive female elements, are located on his left-hand side. Thanks to numerous sketches which have been preserved, it is possible to find connections between the artist's earlier works and personifications of the planets and trace the method of his creative work from sketch to final composition. A clear similarity is seen in the arrangement of naked female bodies from illustrations to the Iliad, the morning star, Helios, Phosphorus and water, from the draft of the figurative elements for the Franciscan church. Saturn. This resembles a harrowing painting of Francisco Goya from the El Prado Museum showing Kronos devouring his own children. The head of Zeus is identical to the head of this god from a sketch featuring him in a group of other characters with an eagle carried on Atlas's shoulders. Mercury appears in the illustration to the Iliad and in the engravings from the Farnesina Villa in works devoted to Raphael from the artist's book collection. In the original conception, Vispiansky was planning to place the zodiac figures of the Eagle and Capricorn inside windows. Finally, he left them neutral with vegetal, decorative motifs so that nothing disturbs the attention required by Apollo, the main composition. All the rooms of the Medical Society house are adorned with chandeliers with crystal drops modelled upon snowflakes. Their form is a repetition of a photographic image of a snowflake known to Vispiansky from a press publication informing that American physicists had taken a microscope photograph revealing the geometric structure of a snowflake. 
Upon the artist's request, Tadeusz Estreicher brought the photograph from America for the designer's needs. The walls and the ceiling of the meeting room are painted in a Pompeian rose-red colour. All the formal procedures used by Vispiansky in the interiors, the quoting of ethnic motifs and native and stylized architectural details, polyphonically construct the atmosphere of the whole, whose dominant element was colour, which has always had a symbolic meaning. Vispiansky decided on all elements of furnishing according to an original concept of harmony based on the principles of the strong contrasts of pure colours. Within the framework of this uniform concept, the artist intended to cover the floor with mahogany in order to adjust it to the colour of the whole. The meeting room is provided with furniture which is austere in form, enriched only by a brass motif of the antique lyre. The room is not conducive to the comfort of people making use of it. On the ceiling frieze which surrounds the whole room, the constant motif of the polychrome, namely the horse chestnut leaves, was repeated on rugs covering the walls over the benches. Also this vegetal motif is known from personal pastel portraits of the artist's family, maternity and wife. Following the model of ancient auditoriums, the meeting room was provided with a gallery, a mezzanine intended for additional guests whose bearing structure was supported by iron beams. The reading room has cool mint colours. The stairs leading to the gallery of the reading room, with a wide railing stretched over an arch-like base, were made of timber stained with an olive grey colour. Also, the furniture of this interior is kept in identical colours. The middle of the ceiling is decorated with a polychrome with a wreath of stylized roses, a motif which appears often in the paintings and drama of the artist. The sharpest frost no problem poses for one who breathes the scent of roses. Your straw-clad as the shrubs are wrapped till spring arrives and you're uncapped and free to bloom at will.
The house is still used by the Cracovian Medical Society, outstanding specialists, scholars and art connoisseurs. It is also a place of weekly meetings of the Cracovian Medical Society, chaired by its current president. Professor Julian Novak, President of the Society, ceremoniously opened the House of the Medical Society with these words. We do not need to be ashamed of our work. We were striving to make the interior of the house in which we spend a lot of time the most artistic possible. Our plans came true due to the fact that a great artist devoted his unusual decorating talent and made it possible despite meagre funds to erect a place which will definitely occupy a worthy place among the artistic monuments of Krakow. Thank you.